Hi everybody, Robert here with more Rivet Training. Today we're going to look at masses. So I got a question from Vineet. Hi Vineet, I uh, hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Okay, you asked me, can I show you how to manipulate uh, masses? So there's a lot of information out there. Well, there's some information on massing. I don't know how depth they go into it. I've learned from uh, different places on YouTube, like BIM Guru, Ozzy BIM Guru, uh, Balkan Architect. So I'm going to give you my interpretation of why, how I use them. So basically, you want to go to your massing site. So basically, there are really three types. You got the uh, mass families, the ones that are loadable. And then you got uh, mass families. And you got, the, I'll, show, I'll go through each one of these. So for the first one, let's go with the in-place mass. We'll select this. Okay, when you see this little thing, it's just telling you that you need to turn this on. So I'm going to say OK here. And then I'm going to go to my draw tools. And I'm going to just place a rectangular shape right here. And then I'll go and I'll create a, form, a solid form. And then I'll draw it or manipulate it however I like. Well, I want to, not yet. So basically, you get your form in and you say finish. And then here, you can adjust this heights and widths. Now, another thing you could do, and I'm going to just step this back. Well, actually, I'll do another form here. So once that's finished, that's finished. So I'll do another one. So let's go with our massing in sight. We'll do in place. This will be number two. And let's do another shape. Let's do this guy here. And then we'll create a form. We'll create a solid form here. So we select this. And then we'll drag this up as we did before. But now here, while you're in sketch mode, you're, able, you're allowed to uh, go up and down. You can go sideways, pulling these little arrows here, the red arrow goes that way, then you have the green arrow that goes in that direction, either, you know, and then you can steadily go up. So those are some basic tools that you have once you're in the uh, sketch mode, but I'm going to finish this. So there's our two uh, in-place masses. Let me shake this. So these are two in place. So now let's go look at the loadable masses. Uh, a lot of people don't know these in here. In fact, I didn't know until maybe a year ago. So we go to Insert tab. And we go Load Family. And then under the Family Library, and out of, out of this, you have Mass. And these are Mass families that they already created for you. Let's go grab this, uh, this Taurus. So I'm going to open that. Now, what happens here is you go back. You have to go back into your uh, massing in sight. And then where it says place mass, that's where you'll pick that one up. It'll be sitting there. That's probably why I never remembered these. <laughs> so those are loadable masses. Let's load another one just for... I don't know, the heck of it. <laughs> so we go to insert. Do a load family. Let's get a spear this time. And we'll go back to site and massing. Massing in site. And we'll place our mass, our spear. Okay, so now we looked at the two two massing forms, two massing types. So now this, and these two are, are manipulative and you can create these any way you like with the line tools. So you have enough tools to draw this. So now let's go and look at a match. Let's create a match family of our own. So I'm gonna go to file, I'm gonna go to new. And right here it says conceptual mass. This is like a project file mass or 
So let's go and open it. This would be like a template. So let's open this guy up. And then we'll select this mass and we'll say OK. So right away, I'm going to tab these views if I can. OK, I don't need to. So now I'm in this view right here. This is our template. So you can do a lot of things here. You can create a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a, a, a sweep blend. And all, all you just got to do is basically uh, go to your modify tab and there are your draw tools. And these are planes. This is a front and back reference plane, left center. And this is your level. So these are basically same as you build in a regular family. But this is in a massing environment. So for here, I want to go here. I want to just draw. Let's do another. I'm going to do a spline here. I want to do this one. So let's make a shape and go from here to there to there, there, and there. And I want to cancel that. So now I can select this guy. And I can make all these adjustments that I want. But, okay. So now what I'm going to do here, I want to go and I want to make a sweet blend out of it. So that was going to take two different shapes and blend together. So what we'll do here, I'll take the point, And I want to place the point right on this end. And then I want to place another point. Let's go right about here. No, yes, yeah, that's a good one. And then I'll place another point right here. Okay, wow. So now what happens here, I can select these points. I want this to be the beginning point. And that is the beginning. Now this one, I don't know if it's an option for me here, but this is why I want my blend to sort of start happening. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that point there. And then on the end, this one, let me just show you something here, what normally happens here. So I don't want to undo that. I don't want to go that deep into it. So now we have our points here. So once I have each of these points set, I want to go set, I want to go select this point. And there you can see as a reference plane about appears. So I'm gonna do on this end, I'm gonna select this polygon. And I'm gonna set that right about there. On my end, let's go with. Uh, what do we have here? Let's do an ellipse on this end, just for the heck of it. Should be interesting. Oh, I gotta cancel that one second here. I gotta grab that point. Okay, I wanna undo something here. I think I. Okay, let's go back. Sorry. I want to go back and place these points again because I got a little issue on the end there. Okay, so now I'm going to go at a point here. That's going to be my beginning. That would be my ending. Okay. Had two points there. It's so they, They're so slow to come in. So I'm going to select this one. That's the beginning. I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call this ending. And then over here, I should have did this before. I would just select this one and let's draw a oops. Okay, where we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Here we go. So here I wanna create a let's do an ellipse on this end. Now let's do the this guy on this end, this shape. We line it up right there. And then we'll come to this end. Let 
complete that side. That's done. Now let's go on this end and let's do a ellipse. Okay. There we go. Got to select it first. So let's do an ellipse out here, like something like that. And we'll finish it. So now we've got our our profiles all done. So after that, you will just select everything here. And then we'll go into create form, solid form. So there's our shape we just created. This is a sweet blend. As you can see, we used that shape on that end. And we brought this down on this end. So hey, that's a, those are just a few things you can do with massing. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on voids and build. I've got some videos out there, but then, you know, there are a lot of other people that do these. So, hey, uh, appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, okay, now I want to do one more thing here. Since so this is a family, we're going to load this into our project. And we'll just place it. Wow, that's a big guy. We'll just place it right here. So that's it. So that, this is a few things that you can do with these uh, masses, but I'm gonna tell you, massing is a is like a total a total new environment in Revit that you can do a lot of things from. You know, you can turn these buildings into whatever. So hey, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope this helps your question. Thanks again, and bye. Please subscribe.